Ты еще деда мы издалека. По шаге по ныне. По ныне. You know that ECHO is not an implementing agency, but ECHO is here everywhere, as you see, and the crucial problem is one of coordination. This is an emergency situation now, they have just arrived from Cookies. something must be done, but in the long term it will have to be in more, more uh, solid structures than these towns. ECHO is the European Community Humanitarian Office and it is responsible for administering aid globally for all disaster areas. At the moment we are the biggest uh, global donor of humanitarian aid in the uh, Yugoslav, ex-Yugoslav region. And we work through our partners, through a network of national NGOs, plus the United Nations Relief Agency and the family of the Red Cross. Why do we need the unit? I think it's very obvious. Inform, and more than inform, I think the word communicate. I think it's much more important communication. And this unit could give them very specific uh, support. It could be more general, independent office, or it could be, for example, within UNICR, given the central function. Hey, 
At the end of the story, from the humanitarian budget, we have mobilized 182 million euro. Uh, but we stand ready to make another appeal to the reserve if the case is needed. But let me tell you quite frankly, there is no shortage for the moment of humanitarian assistance, uh, even bilaterally by member states. There is a shortage of coordination discipline in some way and priorities. Even if I understand very much their, their political situation and fragilities, this is something which, from a humanitarian point of view and the Geneva Convention point of view, is simply not acceptable. So whatever we can do to help, we will do. But this is the message I will again pass to the Macedonian government. It's always so. One, and we made it very public. Everyone knows the problem is to avoid casualties my overall assessment of the situation is that notwithstanding problems that in fact are quite evident, I would say that from the humanitarian point of view, the situation is under control. Inside Kosovo, we estimate that there are at least 690,000 displaced. Which means that the human bomb and the human weaponry is fully loaded. Can be used in any moment. But I'm confident that with a little more discipline and organization, we all together we will be in a possibility, possibility to cope. No smetam da kao malo povek je disciplina i organiziranost koje možemo da se nosimo iz ovog problema. So whatever the misunderstanding, I think that the international community must praise the governments of and the people of Bosnia, Montenegro, Albania and Macedonia. Well, I think that as a humanitarian commissioner, I just have to stick to the Geneva Convention. I have no other rule, and I cannot invent a rule. So provided that it is volunteer, and that we take care not to separate family, and that they are provided with a, a, a commitment for return, I have no other comments to say. More or less 200 million ECO that we have uh, allocated for this crisis come from the reserve. So it's fresh money, uh, and uh, we did not change any other plan for any other crisis, just the opposite, I would say. Also, that some of the criticism, I found them a little bit ingenerous. Ingenerous. A humanitarian activity. Per se. The most important message from the humanitarian point of view is that the Prime Minister said that they are willing to expand the capacity of camps or even to allow new camps. We have uh, disbursed up to now for the region something like uh, 200 million euro for humanitarian. Now, one month later, my problem is to understand what, where do you think should be put as a priority? As you already pointed out, the house families would be one of the priorities for us. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
The decision of the Albanian government is to accommodate any refugees that will cross over to Albania. Kjo është presoj që të jetë e qartë që është zhidhja e fundit e një qeverie që duhet drejtoj një komë në mbjetes. I want to make it clear to you that this is the last solution for a government which has to do with a country that needs to survive. We have better facilities here and we are trying to start a big challenge. The fact that we want to help the most vulnerable among the vulnerable people we have here in Skodra. So that means that we have, we have people with a wheelchair and with special needs, so we need help from everyone who could give us this help, trying to give them the dignity they need. Compte de l'ampleur de l'ampleur du problème. Et si on parle de l'assistance des familles, oui, les deux choses. Oui. L'assistance dans les familles, c'est pas c'est pas sustainable, enfin, euh, sout, sustainable. Tenable. soutenable à long terme. À long terme, ici, on ne parle pas de non, j'espère.
There is a huge job still to do here, and uh, for this, eco funding is indispensable. Uh, you can see we started the rehabilitation of the ground floor, but there are still three more floors. There are a lot of uh, water and sanitation work to do because everything is stinking. There are some latrines, temporary latrines, but it cannot last. It's not a temporary solution. We need showers, latrines, more rehabilitation to provide some privacy to people. Huge job. Father, father. 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 Father.
As soon as possible, we prefer to rehabilitate collective centers that we visited because this situation is not sustainable, uh, not for only for the winter, but also, I think also in, in summertime for, for sanitation and so on. So, and the other point is to, to sustain the hosting families, where there are in any case more than 200,000. So basically, we deal with the three issues. First, uh, emergency, yes, but mostly we would like to switch to rehabilitation of building and collective center, because that will remain in any case, and support of the hosting families. No, in four months I hope people will, will be in a possibility to go back and start to rebuild Kosovo. Uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, this is uh, whatever the activities, diplomatic and military, is to find the solution so that people can go back and rebuild their own country. Okay. We have about 1,200 uh, 1, people the first day. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no.
what we're trying to do is find all those children who are unaccompanied and to register them and then to start to begin the process of reunifying them with their families. Have you found many children here? In that um, there are about 400 children that we have identified so far as being unaccompanied. That means without being with any relative or any parent, not just separated. And so out of those um, 400 or plus actually probably by now, we've been able to reunify about 95 of them. No, no, it's very hard because we have any both here. 10 days, some people are more here and they, they never get bought since they live in Kosovo. And it's very hard because it may spread many diseases here. And 93 94 European Union Eco program has invested about 400,000 Deutschmark. How it looks like, you will see a few rooms now. This is our. Thank you, thank you very much. Different environments. Well, then it's great if there's no people. Well, then they come. So now it's to be better prepared, I hope. Mm. At the moment there aren't any. So the day, they were. Yeah. Do you have all your family with you? Yes. How many children? Uh, three. Three? And yes. your husband? Yes. So, you're safe? We, in this town, I and my friends helping to photos to work with the children to go in Australia. Because it's... Uh, Australia? Yes, we fought them for this Australia. Is Australia. This is for Australia. This <laughs> Ice cream. 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 Ice c
And who is with you, your mother? Yes, she's my mom. And, and who else? Any, any else of your family? Two brothers with their families. How long were you in the camp before you, you went to Canada? More than one month. One month? Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you. One week ago, she burned my wife. For what we are happy so much. It's girl. It's girl. She has she has She's five sleeping. five days. She wants only to sleep. The situation of this hospital uh, some years ago it was uh, very very bad. Uh, now with uh, uh, different uh, projects, especially eco projects, uh, we had it a uh, rehabilitation, rehabilitation uh, program uh, for the building, but also we had a lot of equipments and this changed uh, completely the face of uh, our maternity. And I can tell that it's the best uh, maternity in the whole Albania now.
Pruj në pishëm për i këto di më papru zjasim tre orë. Me litar, nga kujem më shpi në bidonin, nësë të peskilsh dirin tre vjetë, dhe të kili marim në rdorë di bidona peskilsh, se s'na më jafton se kemi fmi shumë me ujtë, këtë pun të shpis bëhen me ujtë. 40% dhe personë bëhen l'eau të se puj, eau qui est largement contaminée par la proximité des latrines, Pour le moment, donc, première urgence sur des fonds éco pose euh, des primaires d'un réseau d'adduction d'eau. Donc on ne fait pas les connexions aux maisons, on fait vraiment une action rapide qui puisse permettre d'apporter, grâce à une vingtaine de bancs de fontaines, de l'eau saine et, et, et buvable. Ime tu ja. Kje li ime? Tak. Tak. Gdje te? Maternity are coming every day and from another area people for delivery because have the water in the people can clean and can washing everything have the nurses who are working two nurses every night 24 hours <laughs> 